Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. We are gonna use, excuse me, the Light Seers Tarot for you Pisces and the Teeny Tiny Everyday Witch Tarot to clarify. I'm gonna do a Celtic cross. So we're gonna look at your overall energy, the energy that challenges you, um, the energy that supports you, your past, your strength, and your future. Oh, one reading, Pisces. I had an orthodontic adjustment yesterday, so I'm a little bit slurry and struggling to talk. So I apologize now if I spit at you. It makes me a little bit drooly, too. <sighs> All right. Pisces, Pisces, my Piscus friends, my Spices brothers and sisters. Let's see what we have for you. Overall energy challenge. Energy support. In your past, your strength, and your future. All right, you have the first card really adamant to come out. The Nine of Pentacles. So I don't know. On some level, it just feels like uh, achieving something here. Achieving something that you work very hard on. You've met some sort of a goal for yourself. Uh, I feel like you did a lot of the work in that. Nine of Pentacles too. It is a single card. It is your sovereignty. The challenge that you have is the Seven of Cups. Hmm. That's interesting. I do want to say the Nine of Pentacles also to like an Empress in protection or the Empress in waiting. And this can be somebody who apparently has a lot of choices. So you might have a lot of choices. Uh, I want to say if y'all are in this reading, the way it's going, this kind of looks like somebody who's single. So if you're not single, this might not be your reading. Um, or it could have something to do, if it's not like your relationship status, it could have something to do with um, like a project that you've been working on, mostly on your own. Like you've accomplished something here on your own on some level, and now you have a lot of choices because of that. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing. This is pretty specific. Energy supporting you. Is the Page of Pentacles, so that's interesting. It's almost like a fresh, a fresh new idea or on some level like a child. I don't know, a child shouldn't really be offering any adult support, um, but that's odd. Energy supporting you, childlike energy could be supporting you too. The Page of Pentacles, you know, learning, t taking your um, your knowledge, the things that you're learning and applying it very meticulously and carefully to your life. Learning as you go, I kind of get with the Page of Pentacles as well, but it is a very youthful energy. But I can't help but feel like this page represents like a child or someone in your life. They could even perhaps help you <laughs> weed out some of these choices. If these are dating choices, I really, you shouldn't let your kids figure that out. You should get that figured out and then not introduce them at all to anybody. <laughs> Till I don't know if ever. Your past, the three of pentacles. Well, you were working together here, nice, <laughs> some people. But overall right now, you're the nine though. Interesting. So it kind of feels like you went from a group to a more singular energy. And you have to get familiar with this. I can't help but wonder, like, if in some strange way, like your own kid or somebody's kid or a children's book or something could, like, in a very obscure way, lead you to some sort of inspiration. There's just the funniest faces coming through in the clouds out the window with your reading. When I pulled the Seven of Cups, the clouds made a face that was just kind of like, and now as I'm talking about like inspiration, it's like big <laughs> cloud face and I have the big clown nose. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of weird. Okay, your strength. Wow, it's the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Emotional fulfillment. I kind of feel like family too. Your strength is your family. Your future. What was the, oh, it's the Empress. What did I just say? Nine of Pentacles is like the Empress in waiting, Empress in protection. So you're leveling up here. The energy that's supporting you is your kid. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It doesn't seem right, but let's see. Oh, maybe like um, 
You're going to take your kid to a swimming lesson or something, and you're going to meet somebody really nice. I don't know. The Hermit. The Hermit in Judgment. Wow, look at all this major arcana. Is this all on the bottom? Holy crap. That's a lot of major arcana. You have the Hermit. Judgment. The Chariot. The Lovers. Nine of Wands. <laughs> she just came out in the Aquarius Extended. Oh, uh, like, yeah, there better be some proof in that pudding, baby. <laughs> Nobody's coming over this fence without some serious proof in that pudding. Ah, this is just like a moment in time that you were meant to walk through with all this major arcana. <laughs> this is like a beautiful, a beautiful spread, but then here you are at the end. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen this shit. I've been around the block a few times. I know. <laughs> We'll get into that in a minute. Let's see where the rest is going. I really do still kind of feel like the majority of this reading has more to do with single people. Again, though, if it's not single, it's some sort of leveling up. You've gone through some sort of transformation, perhaps with your work or your finances. So I'm going to... I'm going to clarify the work and finances possibility in this because it's not, I wouldn't discount it because you got pentacles in here and there's definitely an upgrade that occurs. And then I'm just going to continue to read it like it's um, more like a relationship reading for you, at least personal relationships. Um, but you can see how it fits you if this is work that you've done. So in the past, you were working with a group. Okay, I feel like you were working with the group. Currently, you're um, or working with some friends or something. You know, it could have even been just a a project at work and you were together with a group of people now you're kind of on your own again the nine of pentacles you're on your own with this like you're doing it on your own um and i feel like though still that it's kind of weird like a page of pentacles is the energy that supports the nine of pentacles is someone soon to become an empress so your kid could inspire you something to do with children could inspire you it's definitely maybe even connecting with your own inner child and i boy you're gonna birth something pretty big here okay in the future you're definitely whoever however you sit in this pisces reading we're continuing to go down that path of pisces having good readings things are working out really good okay i'm going to just keep it on now as i move forward and clarify that this is somebody who's single who could end up becoming um in a connected relationship again even perhaps having children with the empress Oh, you know what? Yeah, you could. You don't even have to. You could be dating or be dating someone and still be the Nine of Pentacles, really. Um, so, yeah, I definitely see you here as you're looking really good. With the Nine of Pentacles, you look good. Maybe whatever you've achieved here, people, like, see you in a different light, too. Like, wow, look what Pisces can do. Kind of on their own here. They're able to go out and really do something here for themselves. Look at all the choices they have now. I feel like you're also saying this about, look at all the choices you have. <laughs> so funny no, they're not all good <laughs> I, had, I took lily for a walk this morning and um i don't know i guess i look pretty good <laughs> this morning so i'm walking lily there's this beat up old van and not to say anything about anybody's economic situation but <laughs> it was his contractor and he's woot wooting out the window like he's a dog at me and Lily stopped and she's even looking and he's like smiling at me. And I'm like, that has got to be the most revolt <laughs> revolting choice. <laughs> but why do guys do that? Like, what, what do you think? If you're a guy out there, like, really? Is that the best thing you have? <laughs> all you've got? So that's what I'm saying. You have to be careful with this because not all the choices are good with the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> not all worth turning around and looking at. So let's clarify this and see where it goes. Yeah, that's kind of where you say, you know what? I'm good with my dog. <laughs> Me and my dog, we're good together. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles, look at you. You're looking great. You're accomplishing things. The Nine of Pentacles. The overall energy. Look at the... Ah, oh, three of pentacles. Look at your past. This has something to do with your past. There's something that you've, I don't know, like proven your worth 
and I don't feel like just to others, but like to yourself in some element here. And the nine of in the knight of pentacles, you're not moving fast out of this. You're not. Out of this, I mean, the nine of pentacles. You're carefully, you know, carefully planned steps have also enabled you to reach the point that you're in now. So this, the, your challenge is seven of cups. So there could be a lot of illusions around you. There could be a lot of confusion. I'm picking up on choices. It's coming out like there's a lot of choices here. And like I said, not all of them are great. So the seven of cups. Uh, yeah, the nine of swords. <laughs> oh, the nine of swords and the knight of swords. Okay, so I feel like you don't have a lot of great choices around right now. I'm going to say that. So maybe you're walking in the same neighborhood that I am. <laughs> it's not great choices. Um, but I don't know. But it seems like for you... Well, no. I don't know. Because you go from Nine of Swords to Knight of Swords. So I feel like you quickly just move out of that. Move out. If that gives you any sort of mental anxiety about all these choices and perhaps they're just not very great right now. Mm, let's just keep walking, Lily, right? <laughs> so Knight of Swords. The Page of Pentacles is the energy that supports you. I'm super curious about that. The Page of Pentacles is the energy that supports you. So you might even be involved in something um, that you're kind of doing for yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles. I know I'm slipping out of that relationship thing, but it's coming up. And you might be learning something new here. Like you might be, maybe you're upgrading um, like your own knowledge in a field that you work in, right? And then once you, you've accomplished, you'll accomplish this. You'll kind of level up in whatever this is but you have to kind of it's like going to school again you know like you have to kind of learn a little bit as you go well the five of swords the energy that supports you is running away <laughs> this really took a turn the five of swords and the page of pentacles can we get more on that the five of swords like this is something that you have to end at all costs the King of Swords, shit, it's almost like you're being told. The energy that supports you. Now what I'm seeing is I kind of feel like you've learned what you needed to learn. If you were doing something, if you were being childish or you were working Spending more time, oh, spending more time with your kid. But I would almost see these like that then, right? Like then I would see the Empress is your past and your future is the Three of Pentacles. Wouldn't that be funny? It's funny that I did that. I don't know if that could actually be for some of you. Like maybe some of you have taken some maternity leave or you've taken a longer leave than you intended here. And I'm kind of getting a message like it's time to get, to disconnect from this page of Pentacles written here you need to get back let's keep going your past was the three of pentacles your past was the three of pentacles oh the queen of cups come on you really love this this is something you really love doing you really put your heart into this so why did you why are you not in it or, well, maybe it just came to a cycle conclusion? Because I don't see any tower moments or anything, right? You, your Nine of Pentacles, you have some sort of independence that was um, supported by some sort of group work that you did. And you really loved it. Like, you really put your heart and, I want to say, your soul into this. But now you move forward carefully and strategically. And you don't want to pay no never mind to bad choices. Because I think when you you did something really good in the future, so why would you want to go backwards, right? The energy supporting you is moving yourself away from the page of power. That one is still odd to me. I don't I don't know. You know what it's like? It's like Scorpio. I don't really have to know. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Your strength is the Ten of Cups. Boy. Two, that also says that like you have a lot of emotional depth here to share with others who are equally deep in their emotions and their feelings, um, how they connect with people, and to bring this together. The Ten of Cups is not on your own. The Nine of Cups is. 
your strength, it, and it's funny because there's no, we don't really have any cups here, except for the, the queen of cups, which was your past. I feel like you experienced something really good in the past. And I don't know if it just, you know, through natural time, it just came to some sort of conclusion because now you're singular, but you're not, there's no choices that match whatever this was for you. So you're not investing emotionally. And maybe there are, like, you know, like I found that guy's behavior a little bit immature. I'm just like, come on, really? <laughs> You know what you so this is what you do, guys. Okay, like just act like you're lost, <laughs> just act like you're lost. Strike up a conversation. I don't know. I feel like most guys don't have game, they're just walking around like okay. So, your strength is ten of cups. The ten of cups. Oh, look, the nine of cups. See, I told you, but you're meant to join this. Ah, you need a new plan here to join your emotions to something deep. Look at you. You are the nine of pentacles. You are the nine of cups. You are, you are, you like got it all. I tell you, you have it all right now. But the universe is saying, you need to join this energy with something though. Something that has the same value of what you're bringing to the table. Because this nine of cups is your emotional sovereignty, is being able to hang on to and visualize your dreams and wishes for yourself and um, make something with that. And the nine of pentacles, hey, it's real life. You've made something with that. But the Seven of Pentacles is telling us we need a bit of a plan here. You need to reassess. Maybe you need to approach things a little bit differently. I don't know. But it's still good. It's still good, Pisces. Your future is the Empress. It doesn't get much better than that. Honey cake. <laughs> now I sound like some guy at a, at a bar. Hey, honey cake. <laughs> the Empress. I know. The guys are going to come in and say, oh, Cindy, I've had women whistle at me. How have you? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay. You okay. Your future is the empress. You have the hanged man and the eight of wands. Mm. Hanged man is Pisces energy. Interesting. I was just told to look at the number on the hangman. I don't really memorize these, but it is number 12 in the major arcana, which is a one and a two, which makes the three, which is the empress. The empress is the three. So it's almost like assessing something. Your future is good, but I feel like you're going to take a hot minute to really reflect on it. So I don't know if you're going to like join forces with someone or you're going to accomplish something that you've been strategically working on. And, you know, this could also be like if you've slowly been trying to learn something, I also feel like you're coming to the point where you're almost ready to just take it on for yourself. Like you've learned everything that you can learn with it. You need to just create it on your own at that point, too. And the hanged man, you're going to feel awkward. I don't know what this is, but I, I feel like when you step into this Empress energy or you meet this person, whatever it, it could end up being for you, I feel like there's a bit of an awkward phase here. The hanged man is really trying to understand what's happening around you. And this eight of wands all the time with this card, the wands are all in different directions. So you're communicating, you're getting movement, but it feels a little awkward. It feels, it feels a little awkward. I'm not done, actually, because you have quite... The underline here. Well, you have the hermit and judgment. So maybe you're trying to learn how to hang out with people again. So you feel kind of awkward. Right? <laughs> you got the nine of wands. The hermit. Let's look at this. The hermit. This is going to give me your backstory here. <clears throat> okay. The two of wands. I like that. In hermit energy. Imagining what things could be for your, for you. Ooh, imagining bigger and deeper things for you. Look at that, the King of Cups. I feel like, mm, imagining your dreams, but also this is part of really grounding your own emotions. 
reaching your true emotional depths here, but you're not showing it to anybody with the Hermit. And the King of Cups is not showing his work, his feelings, where the Queen does. The Queen of Cups is all over this, so... It's funny, right? Like in your past, you were showing emotions in the Three of Pentacles, yet you're underlying your backstory. There's some sort of hermit mode where you're not sharing your emotions, at least about your dreams. Judgment. New beginning. Wow, Ten of Swords. Ace of Swords. Talk about pulling out the sword. Holy crap. Emperor, Two of Pentacles. Judgment. Being born... Having a rebirth, having a second chance at something here in life. Kind of a painful ending. It's how you got there. And I feel like this Ace of Swords pulls one of these swords out. There's a truth here. You know, everything that stabbed me in the back, there's only one thing that was true in all of that. And I'm going to take that and that's going to become my empowerment. Well, with the Emperor. Now you have the Emperor and the Empress, don't you? And the Two of Pentacles. You're... Your judgment, your new beginning involved kind of having to stay in place and deal with practical things in life and really boss up. The chariot, here's your movement. Interesting to have the chariot into the lovers. The five of wands, wow, this is really trying to push past things that are, I th I'm hearing competitive relationships, like people that are kind of competing with you. I hate that. You know, like even friend, like you have you ever had friends or even partners that it just feels like they're competing with you. <laughs> that can't we just be friends or so definitely trying to move past some sort of competitive nature with, that people have had. And you know what's interesting too is because even if this is a work environment, like you can't really grow in that. Nobody can because everybody's competing with each other, whereas opposed to sharing your information and your knowledge so that everyone can blossom and be their best. There's a much better way to do that. The lovers. The death card and the wheel of fortune wow so this is having some major choices here and having a rebirth death card being endings and rebirth you have the ending showing up here so i want to say a rebirth with the wheel of fortune a different circumstances you guys definitely are moving into different circumstances this nine of wands though the proof is in the pudding before you cross over this fence with pisces i'm telling you that and look at that we go directly to the sun and we do not stop. <laughs> the sun and the knight of wands. There ain't nothing going over this fence unless it meets your hopes and your wishes and your dreams and your brighter days because you're not going backwards. And it's got to be inspiring. And it's got to just want to catapult you forward. Right? So I feel like that's what you feel like. That's your backstory. But just take note, this Empress energy is almost something that you struggle with a little bit at first. But it's not to say it's not good. The Tower and the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Well, there's a huge shift in life change. That's a huge shift. Going from out in the cold, depleted, not connected to reciprocated energy, love, emotions, friendship, soulmates. My goodness, Pisces. That was quite the reading. I'm going to go do your extended. In the extended, I'm going to look at your, like, future you. Only, like, just a little bit. I'm not, I don't want to go too far ahead because I want to stay a little bit connected to this energy. I'm going to look at your mental state, emotional state, what you don't see coming. So it's a bit of a blind spot and where all this energy is taking you. <sighs> Thank you so much, Pisces. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.